So now I get to turn it over to our partners who will say a few words. Please join me in welcoming Roy Steiner, the Senior Vice President for the Food Initiative at the Rockefeller Foundation, to the stage. Roy is somebody I've known for a decade and a half, and I admire and respect him more than I can tell you. He is committed to food transformation in so many different ways, and I've learned so much from him. Please give him a round of applause. It is such a pleasure to be here and, and to welcome you all to this uh, wonderful event. You know, the Rockefeller Foundation is, you know, for 110 years has been uh, dedicated to the, the well-being of humanity, promoting the well-being of humanity. And, and um, you know, in, in, in food systems, one of the things that we recognize is that you can't actually solve the really major issues facing the world right now around climate change or the healthcare crisis without addressing food systems. And you know, we do a lot of work in that area through our work through regenerative agriculture, through uh, our school meals initiative, which is probably our largest uh, p body of work right now, uh, as well as our food is medicine uh, research. But underlying this all is an understanding of food. And when we started to really ask, you know, how much do we know about our food? It was extraordinary how little we knew and how little we knew about the incredible diversity that's there. And uh, in, an, in and just asking that question, it's interesting how questions lead to, uh, to more questions. <laughs> and, in, and this initiative is really a collective effort of so many different people. Um, I, you know, I may have come up with the idea, but without conversations with Justin and Bruce and, and many others, uh, it wouldn't have been formulated in the way it did. Uh, without finding John de la Parra, without finding Selena, or having Steve, and, and the many, uh, all the centers of excellence, this, this idea would never have, have developed the way it has. Uh, anything great nowadays requires collective action. It is not the result of individuals. We have to work uh, collaboratively together. And one of the things I love about this is that the, center, the, the secretariat is a collaboration between an International Agricultural Research Center, center the, the CGIIR, and the American Heart Association, which is another large health research, a, a agricultural research uh, uh, network and a health research network. Uh, I challenge you to find any other things that brings those two sectors, who usually are completely siloed, together to work, to, uh, work as one. And, and they've worked brilliantly together. And, and you'll, you'll hear from them later on. The other is this, you know, in a world that is polarizing in so many different ways, um, the, the fundamental solution to almost all of our issues is recognizing our interdependence. That the fact that we need to, you know, identify, find ways to create unity out of our diversity. And, uh, and it was remarkable for me when, you know, hearing how all these different researchers around the world are working but all of their data stays, into their, stays in their laptops separate. Is there a way to bring it all together so that collectively, as humanity, we can really move forward on what is the most important thing, something that without food, we die, right? Who said that yesterday? Um, uh, without food, we, we, can't, we can't solve the problems of the planet, and we don't know enough about uh, what sustains us. And, and that excites me about the periodic table of food because it's a, it's a step it's a, it's a global uh, collective um, collaboration which we need more of in a world that is, that is polarized. Funding fun foundational research is actually hard. All the research shows that it, the return on investment is massive, but still people don't want to fund foundational research because everybody wants impact in three years. And this is a long-term project. It's a, it's a, a, you know, we talk about big bets. This is a long bet in my mind, right? Um, and it, it, it takes people to have vision to be able to believe in it. You know, I went around with this idea to five or six really big foundations, and they told me, this is too risky, this is too difficult, and it's not going to have impact yeah, fast enough. A and, uh, and, but two foundations said yes, the Foundation for Fa uh, Food and Agriculture Research and Sea Ray Foundation, who are here. And I just want to just a shout out to, without them, I couldn't have gone to my boss and my board uh, and say why well, I want to do this. I had to have partners. 
and I just really wanted to appreciate those, as well as the others who've come on board. Round of applause, please. I love what Roy said about unity out of diversity and the collaboration is key for all of this work to happen. And that's why I think, you know, Roy's presence here, the Rockefeller Foundation, no one is better at collaboration than these folks. 